you, Caitlin? Yes, yes. You have grown. You look very tall. Very tall. <laughs> very tall. And Emily, I can see yes. you. I love you both. Very special. And Would there's... Like fancy, uh, fancy dress. You've got a fancy dress on today? I love it. I love it. It suits you. It matches your eyes. Very, very special. And I can see you, Zach. <laughs> well, I'm here today. And do you know what? Everyone from the Salvation Army Camberwell is watching as well. Did you know that? You're oh. on show today. Yeah. Well, they will be. They'll be watching you very soon. You should give them all a big wave. Hi. Hello. And we wanted to we wanted to have a chat to you guys because we've missed you so much. Have you missed church as well? This is my cat. Can you see my cat? What's his name? This is Penelope, and every time I'm having a Zoom hello, meeting, she jumps up on the desk and wants to say hello to everybody. There she is. Hi, Penelope. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl cat. How old is she? She, I think she's about eight years old. Yeah. So she's about the same age as you. Maybe a little bit older. Oh, Caitlin's seven. Seven. Okay, <laughs> yes. It's true. The cat is much older than that. Yeah. All righty. Well, I wanted to know what you guys have been up to. Have you been having a good time? This has been a strange time, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. What What's been, been tough today? for you guys? What's been difficult at this time? What's been a bit tough? I don't know. What's tough been? Oh, like, what haven't you liked? The silly virus. Oh, yeah, the silly virus. I know. I agree. They've been missing their friends, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I can imagine. Missing school. And what about you, Karen and Jamie? What's been difficult for you? Of course, Karen, you're a teacher, so yeah, I just have I have no idea what it's been like for you. <laughs> so I do three days a week for preps. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Which also means that I get to make up some of the curriculum that Emily has to do each week. Oh, that's fine. Um, yep. Yeah. So that's three days a week, and I'm still doing the army job one day a week. Yes. And then trying to homeschool the girls. Oh, um, yeah. Five days oh, a week. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a bit of a challenge. And I oh. guess, <laughs> as they're all in one form right now, a big part or a big challenge for me has been prioritising yeah. and working out where I should be spending my time and when I should be spending it. Um, I think I've never had such tired eyes during this oh, time. Oh, Karen. <laughs> Um, because it's just during the day it's homeschooling and then I've got to do my work at night yeah. when the kids are in yeah. bed. So, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the biggest challenge. Oh, no, um, I hate doing school. And, and has your mum <laughs> your mum's been your teacher at home? Has that yeah, been... I want Madeline. I want Madeline to be my teacher. Oh, okay. She wants Madeline back. Yeah, well, it'll be yeah. so good when you're able to go back to school, Emily, and see all your friends again. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been working from home too, Jamie, haven't you? Yes, but the actual transition to working from home for me has been pretty painless. I mean, we were set up to work remotely for the last five years anyway, oh, so okay. that was pretty seamless, to be honest. I suppose the difficult thing for me, I mean, apart from my petty little problems at home, like the kids are annoying me and I can't get enough work done, that, <laughs> that piles into comparison really to some people who have been doing it really tough. Mm. Um, yeah. I suppose a difficult thing for me is seeing other people really struggle. Yeah. Uh, people lost jobs and, um, you know, um, people can't get out and see their friends and family. And yeah. I mean, despite the pandemic, this people still have their normal everyday things they've got to deal with. That's right. Um, yeah. So the pandemic hasn't helped that. That's just another thing, another layer to add to it. Some of the guys that I work with lost, lost their job early in the year as well. So, um, yeah, it's been probably there. The thing for me is seeing the difficulties other people are going through compared to us, which we we really don't have that much to be worried about. Worried about. So yeah, mm, yeah. And what's brought what what's brought you joy during this time, or where have you seen God at work? I think um, 
The biggest thing, although there's some days where we go a bit crazy, is mm. just seeing the kids and the interaction that they're having with each other. Yeah. Um, in saying that, we have one off crying at the moment, but never mind. <laughs> we can't hear it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so it's... Just the, like the, I guess the little things. So hearing the girls, um, you know, in bed at night, having a, a real tummy chuckle yeah. with each other. Watching Zach during the day, he just absolutely loves playing with Jamie. So yeah. although it's hard that Jamie gets interrupted all day, saying when did you finish work? Yeah. Um, seeing the excitement on his face when dad, Dad's able to be here to play with him. Oh, that's um, precious. Play their trampoline football or their other footy games. They're really nice. Yeah. Just also. The way people have reached out to us, mm. you know, little cards. The kids have been getting quite a lot of mail. Oh, that's and, nice. Yeah, and they just their face just lights up when they see that there's a letter addressed to them, or yeah, you know, it might be a telephone call from somebody in the call just letting us know they're thinking of us, and yeah, those was, little pack, care packages and having yeah, a couple yeah. of little care packages and things like that. But it's so, been nice seeing the kids write stuff as well and post yeah. it. Yeah. There's still something nice about getting something in the mail, isn't there? I think there is. It seems that it's yeah. a bit special these days to have, you know, that moment yeah. of opening something up and then seeing what's inside. That is good. And Zach, exactly. you, you would have had a happy moment this weekend when Carlton won. Was that good? <laughs> Did you get the flag out? Yeah. You weren't allowed to watch it, were you? You only allowed to watch day games. Oh, yeah, that's true. So he wakes up at 6 o'clock and asks us who wins. So for those of you who don't know, Zach and I have a very special relationship. We like to kick the ball to one another after um, mainly music sessions on a Friday, don't we, Zach? You miss that? Yeah. I miss that. It gets us out of tidying up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, and right. I'm just going to let the kids go and then we'll... Yes, come let them back. Do. They can come back at the end. All righty. Um, so just over this time, how have you nourished your soul or is there anything in particular that you've learned that you feel like God's teaching you? You might find this surprising, but I've actually nourished my soul through music. Yeah. Yeah, there's a just lot of people it. doing that. Yeah, listening to music. Why um, is that surprising? I was being a bit sarcastic. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I mean, obviously these days it's very easy to access any sort of music. Yeah. Um, so I've been listening to quite a bit of worship music, Sarashanami brass band music, yeah. vocal music. Um, so I found that quite um, quite reassuring during this yeah. time. Music's so universal. It's, it's, it's just a universal language. And um, it's obviously interpretation as well. Music, you can interpret it many different ways. A lot of my God moments have been through music and, and also um, relating that music to, to the words mm. that's speaking, that the music's trying to, trying to um, convey yeah. through that. Yeah. So that's been um, really the biggest one for me. Um, oh. I find that quite reassuring, quite peaceful. That's lovely. And I know that the, um, the band, that they've been getting together, I think they've got together once and... Had a session yeah, together. Zoom last week. Yeah, the yeah. first one. Oh, the contain, yeah. yeah, Norm's obviously kept the devotions going for Tuesday night. Yeah. So every Tuesday we get a an email, with, and then the devotions is in like a written form. Um, cool. So it's been good to read that, and that's how you sort of keep keep up to date with what, what's happening in the guys' lives as well. Also, staff band every every Wednesday, the staff band sends out a video of oh, someone okay. doing devotions as well. So. Oh, it's been also, I'm lucky I'm involved in those groups where we're, we're sort of staying in touch yeah. through that sort of medium. How about you, Karen? Yeah, I think for me, look, to be honest, it's probably something I haven't done that well during mm. this lockdown time. You've been so um, busy. Yeah. <laughs> and if we do sort of get a spare quiet moment, it's normally late at night mm. and then I'm unfortunately prioritising my schoolwork um, over that time with God or it's during like a Saturday or Sunday and we just have constant interruption. So it's never really a, a quiet, reflective sort of time anyway. Um, and I think a big part of my faith is also music, um, but also hearing other people's stories. Yes. So although we've been able to hear that a little bit from some of the things that you and um, Heather have been doing and, and like this chat, hearing other people's stories, which has been fantastic, I think I've, I've just missed that connection yeah. with yeah. and other people. It probably is a lot like what Jamie has said through music, but also I guess I haven't learnt it 
but what has just continually reinforced is that God is always there. Yeah. No matter yeah. what we're going through, we, we are able to have a different sense of peace to others who don't believe yeah, in God. That's right. And, you know, we can't make sense of this situation that everyone's in and it's not how we want to be and we're not, we don't want our kids being in a world like this where they can't just go and give somebody a hug or mm -hmm. um, a cuddle or anything like that. But knowing that we've got to have a bigger picture to this yeah. and that no matter what, God will, will have it sorted for us. It's such a simple lesson but such an important important one and at one that's only learnt through experiences like these i think so thank you yeah. karen well shall we get the kids back because i've just got a yeah. little prayer <laughs> Please, I want to share with you. okay have you guys you've got a message that you want to send out to everybody at church something to say oh i miss you oh they miss I you too love you all. oh <laughs> well we all love and miss you too <laughs> what was that bit I can't wait to see you again. Oh, can't wait to see you, Zach. That will be so good. Zach did say to me this morning he's been missing all his friends and kicking a ball and throwing a ball with all his friends. Yeah. And play yeah, and, and, and playing and running. I'm running around with them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been talking about this morning or this afternoon some of the things that we're thankful for. So I've got a little thank you prayer that I'm going to pray. And do you think that at the end that you could say amen in a really loud voice? Do you have a loud voice? Okay, yeah, we can do that. You can do yep. that? It, yeah. All right. I think you'll know when the end is. All right. And we'll pray this prayer for you and for everyone else at church. All right. Here we go. Okay. Dear God, I'm thankful for all you give, for food, for love, a place to live. I thank you for my family too, and I want you to know that I love you. Amen. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely <laughs> perfect. Well, thank you, Smith family. It was so good to catch up with you guys and we look forward to the day when we can see you face to face.